Hello, welcome to Bert Fred on what would have been day one, of course, of the World Snooker Championship. And day one is always kicked off by the defending champion. And of course, that is Judd Trump. He was superb last year. And I spoke to him after he lifted the World Championship for the very, very first time. How does it feel holding up very, very special trophy? Very surreal at the moment. I think um, it still hasn't sunk in. I'm going to have to watch it back a few times before it sinks in. I think just the standard in the final was just incredible, and to be a part of it's amazing. I think I always knew coming into the game that it's going to be so tough to beat John over that distance, but something inside me just sort of clicked, and I, I seemed to be firing for the whole final. To make it more special, it was Jan, John won it four times before. You played him, of course, in 2011, your first final. I think so. I think he's, he's given me a few painful victories in the past, uh, defeats in the past. So it's obviously nice to beat him, but he's, he's someone that I always love to watch and he inspires me. And um, every time I play him, I'm trying to learn from him. And to, to be able to do that on the big stage in front of sort of the biggest audience in the world is incredible. And where did you produce some of that snooker from? That was just snooker heaven. I have no idea. I think just John just kept pushing me, he kept making century after century, kept sticking with me. And then I just found something last night, just sort of clicked into gear. And um, today, the standard again was amazing. I was playing the best I could possibly play, and I got four all this afternoon. And today, I knew I had to step up again, and uh, I produced two great breaks to, to win the match. And finally, you've got your family here, your brother here, your mum and dad. Great scenes. Amazing. Uh, so special for them. My, um, my dad's the biggest snooker fan in the world, so to, to win it for him is amazing. And my brother's been a massive help for me this season, moving up and just uh, helping me to sort of fulfil my potential. On behalf of Betfred, thanks ever so much. You're an absolute worthy champion. Thank you so much. Thank you. Enjoy tonight, mate. Thank Enjoy you. tonight. Thank you. So Judd is only 30 years of age. There's going to be plenty more world championships for Judd. But the World Snooker Supremo was just full of praise of a lad from Bristol. Some of the shots he played were very reminiscent of even Alex Higgins in his prime, as well as other, as other great, great players. Judd Trump became, I think he took a major step becoming a global superstar last night because that was very entertaining to watch. The frames were played at the right speed, the breaks were high. It, it was eye-catching stuff, but the way he played last night was reminiscent of the glory days of O'Sullivan at his peak, Davis at his peak, Hendry at his peak, Higgins and Alex Higgins at his peak. And when you put that together, you have a very, very special recipe for entertainment. And we all hope here that Barry Hearn is making a very, very speedy recovery. So Barry, hope to see you very, very soon. Well, Judd Trump beat John Higgins. John Higgins, well, he is just superb at the Crucible. He's won it four times. He was in the final the last three occasions as well, but finishing runner-up each time. But he admitted he came up against a fantastic Judd Trump. Yeah, he just blew me away. <laughs> it's simple, simple. There's not much you can really say. It's, just, uh, it's, it's, been, it's been played a little bit on Eurosport, and it's tough to watch sometimes. But I sit down and watch some of the frames and, and you just shake your head that you shake shake your head that just how incredible he, some of the some of the frames he was. He he was superb in that final, wasn't he, Judd? I mean, he put on a hell of a display. He, he clearly learned a lot in the eight years since you'd beaten him in twenty eleven. Yeah, he's, he's he's learned he's learned a lot as a player, without a shadow of a doubt. He's he's still got the unbelievable Array of shots he can do and his Q power, but he's such, he's such a tough player to play against now. He's got the all round package. As I said, maybe he didn't have that in 2011, but he's went away and worked and worked and worked. And yeah, every credit to him. Every credit to him. He looks as if now he's he has, he has the man to beat now. If we ever make it make it back to the Crucible, he is he's the one we've all got to try and aim for. And no complaints from John Higgins about that defeat in the final, but it's incredibly. It was John's eighth final. And if you want to hear John talking about his four World Championship wins and those near misses as well, check out our Facebook and YouTube page. We have an exclusive with John Higgins. Right, Dennis Taylor is very much part of the team here at Betfred, and he has been praising Judd Trump. But the way he's played this season, 
I mean, he's dominated the season. And I think, uh, you know, if it goes ahead, who knows whether we're going to have a world championship at the Crucible this year. They're talking about possibly doing it at the end of July. Um, said they did do that, they played in July. Judd Trump wouldn't suffer. You know, they talk about the defending champion always getting beaten in the first round. I don't think that would have happened to him. I think Judd Trump would be a strong favourite to lift his second world title. So you've heard there from Dennis. He thinks Judd will go on and win plenty more world championship. Judd is only 30 years of age. If you're enjoying what we're doing, you'll also like what World Snooker are doing as well. They're doing Crucible Gold. It's introduced by Rob Walker, of course, the MC from the snooker. And tonight at 7 o'clock, we are looking back at Ronnie O'Sullivan's maximum breaks, including that cracker in 1997, the fastest ever maximum break, just five minutes and 20 seconds. So, no snooker to bring you, but I hope you're enjoying looking back. We certainly are. Please stay safe and stay in. <laughs>